Hello, I'm Finder's version of Susie Dent, here to demystify complex investing terms you can't be bothered to Google. In today's Finder Dictionary Corner, I'm looking at the term stock market index, covering what it is and how you can invest in it. Simply put, an index or stock market index is a group of stocks on the stock market. It can be thought of as a hypothetical portfolio that tracks the performance of a specific sector, like the NASDAQ 100 Technology Sector Index, commodity like the S&P GSCI Gold Index, or geographical area like the NSE Nifty 50, which tracks the 50 biggest Indian companies on the National Stock Exchange. Basically, anything you want to track. Indexes can track a group of stocks based on a variety of aspects like revenue, float value or market capitalization, which is a company's value as it relates to the stock market. It's calculated by multiplying the current price of a share by the total number of shares that are owned by all stockholders and investors. Investors typically use indexes to assess how a market or sector is doing and to gauge potential future movements. It's kind of like calculating the average performance of a bunch of school kids to see how the school as a whole is performing. Tracking each kid's progress individually would take forever and the data would be too sparse to analyze. But if you chuck an index in the mix and take a look at the performance of every kid as an average, you get a much clearer picture of how the school is performing. The biggest index in the UK is the Financial Times Stock Exchange 100, otherwise known as the FTSE 100, which tracks the top 100 companies on the London Stock Exchange by market capitalization. The largest global indexes include the S&P 500, Dow Jones Industrial Average, and the Nasdaq Composite. Since an index simply tracks a collection of stocks on the stock market, if you wanted to invest directly in that index, you would need to research all the individual companies on the index and invest in them one by one. If that sounds like the biggest headache in the entire world, there is another way. Having cottoned onto the value of indexes for investors, some financial providers and publishing companies like the Financial Times decided to make a bunch of index funds that allow you to invest in the index in one lump. The index fund for the FTSE 100, for example, will allow you to invest in all the top 100 companies on the London Stock Exchange in one go. If a new company gets swapped into the index, a fund manager will update the fund accordingly and your investments will automatically be redistributed. Investing in an index directly is kind of like cooking a meal from scratch. You've got to go to the shops and pick out every ingredient individually. And then imagine you get home and someone has updated the recipe. So you've got to go all the way back to the shops and swap out one or several ingredients for something new. An index fund is like a ready meal. Someone's already done the hard work for you. You go to the shop, you pick out one item and dinner is served. And in the case of index funds, if that recipe were to change, the supermarket would just send you a new ready meal without you having to lift a finger. Because index funds mimic the movements of an index and don't require a whole lot of management, they are generally considered to be a passive investment and may have lower fees than types of investments that take up more of a fund manager's time. For more information on stock market indexes, visit finder.com by clicking this link up here. You can also check out our full video guides on how to invest in index funds and how to invest in ETFs by clicking the links I've tagged in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to hit that bell button to be the first to know when a new video drops. As always, thanks for watching.